Uh, let's get started. So, welcome to Montreal Elixir, everybody. Um, thanks for uh, um, you know coming to our smallish office. Um, I know it's a little tight, um, but it's really good to have you here. So uh, tonight we've got three presentations. Um, they're around uh, 15 minutes each. We're going to um, let sort of about uh, five minutes for questions and discussions afterwards. We're aiming to finish up around 8:30. Um, and we're going to try to stick to the program as much as possible. Um, if, if presentations go a little bit longer, we'll do a bit of a Q&A um, uh, at the end of the night. Uh, we're not kicking you out at 8.30, so if you want to hang around, have a drink, have a chat a little bit more, please do. Um, we might kick you out eventually. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so we've got three presentations. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a spiel for 15 minutes um, talking about the Montreal Elixir community. Um, Hugo is going to give a uh, talk, um, get into Elixir, talking about collections. And Adrian's going to talk about uh, OTP, currency and testing strategies. And then we'll sort of wrap up the, the end of the night for any Q&A, um, announcements, etc. So let's jump into it then. Uh, so building the Montreal Elixir community. So I just wanted to get a little bit of a feel with a show of hands because, you know, we've got to have a show of hands. Um, who's got Elixir stored on their computers right now? Okay, all right, most of us. Keep them up. <laughs> who's, uh, who's, um, uh, who's gone through a tutorial? You can drop the hands down. No, okay, everyone cool. Uh, who's done a hobby project? Kind of, someone, maybe, maybe, all right. And anyone doing it professionally? Okay, excellent, all right, very cool. Okay, great. So, um, all right, well, I'm not here to sell Elixir. I'll let the presenters uh, do that for us tonight. Um, but uh, as you know, sort of, well, as you may know, Hugh and I have been uh, developing Elixir for the last year or so. Um, that is actually billable work. Uh, and we're, we're pretty excited about this tech. Um, and I, I feel that we've sort of really only sort of scratched the surface right now. So in terms of this talk, I want to sort of set the stage for the, um, the Montreal Elixir community. Uh, I want to sort of talk a little bit about presenting at the meetups here. Um, and then I want to give a little bit of a tour of um, Montreal Elixir Online in terms of the, sort of the various properties and the purposes um, of those. So let's get started with part one, setting the stage. So, um, so I would like to think Montreal Elixir is a community. So it goes beyond just being a meetup. Um, so, you know, so obviously the meetup is a key component of that, but certainly an online presence is as well. And we'll go into that a little bit more. Um, but there's some other initiatives that we can think of about doing as a community that I hope some of you um, may you know, drive. You know, that's things like workshops um, and also things like rail, rails bridge type events. Um, and this helps developers by giving them exposure to the platform, um, help to build knowledge in the community, um, but also really importantly, um, give people experience um, in terms of using uh, the language and the platform. So meetups are great, right? Because they help to sort of provide that exposure. Um, and you know, the, the fact that we're here today demonstrates that there's actually interest in this technology. Uh, presentations are also great for helping to share knowledge. Uh, they're an awesome experience for pre um, presenters, certainly from a professional development point of view. Um, and they're always going to be part of these meetup events. Um, but there's probably other things that we can do during these meetups. Um, and the idea is to help to provide a more of an active experience um, when we come together. And so that's going to help build our development experience. That's going to help us get uh, fingers onto the keyboards. And so, you know, so there's things like we can do um, uh, types of things of uh, code dojos, uh, carters. And this is going to help benefit uh, new people who haven't really touched the language, but also the experienced people, because as soon as, you know, as you know, uh, when you help uh, teach and share knowledge, that's going to re reinforce your knowledge as well. So if you want to make con a contribution to the meetups, they don't just have to be a presentation. Um, they could be something along of a, um, um, of a Carter co uh, co dojo, as I mentioned. 
Uh, and so, well, why is this all important? So the idea here, and what I would love to see, I mean, obviously I'm a little invested in all of this, uh, is to make Elixir a viable technology in Montreal. And if you're passionate about Elixir, and I'm guessing since you're here, you're a little bit interested in it, that might be important to you as well. And we can't really make this happen um, without experienced developers, right? So, I have a challenge for us. And, what I'd, and the challenge is, by the end of 2017, is to host um, an Alexa Bridge type event. So we can keep this modest, like we can just do five people outside of the community to help them um, gain experience in using Alexa. Now, for some of you um, that might not be familiar with these uh, bridge type events, um, they originated in the Rails community um, as the Rails Bridge. Um, and there's actually five other platforms that are, use this format. And they're a weekend workshop, um, they're free. Um, and they just help people give them opportunity to experience programming that they uh, might not necessarily otherwise get. So we would like someone in the community to drive this. But we'll help out as much as we can. Um, so if that's something that interests you, um, please let us know and, uh, and we'll definitely help you out. But we'd definitely like to see someone sort of drive that. And we'd love to see that happen before the, uh, before the end of the year. So if you're interested in that, um, definitely check out, um, uh, talk to us. Uh, there's a link, uh, alexabridge.org. So someone's also um, started, um, so there's a curriculum that someone's actually built. Uh, so we can use that as a starting base. And you're, if you're interested in um, uh, the, the, these bridge type events, um, check out bridgefoundry.org. All right, so let's move on to part two. Uh, presenting at meetups. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, present um, presentations are great for professional development, great for sharing knowledge. Um, certainly if you don't know about a topic, um, if you present on it, you're going to start, you're going to learn that pretty well. And as I kind of learned when I did my first Alexa presentation. Um, and so what we wanted to do is we wanted to sort of make presentations like a, like, well, you know, encourage people to present um, and make that kind of an easy thing. And so what we've designed is these sort of three options for presenting. So, uh, so as you can see there, we have uh, uh, three options. We, uh, we have a full presentation, um, which is great for maybe more experienced and prepared uh, presenters. Uh, we have a demi presentation, and honestly, if you can come up with a better name than that, please let me know. Um, and uh, uh, you know, a 15 minute presentation is great for something that's uh, more focused. Um, and then a lightning talk, um, and you know, that's a great sort of entry into, um, uh, into first time presenters. Uh, and so those options are available at every meetup. So if you don't really want to do a full-on talk, please like do a lightning talk. I mean, it's like a, a sort of a quick and easy thing to do. And we're, you know, for the most part, I, I think these options are, are pretty good. I think time constraints are good. It sort of helps respect your audience's uh, time. Um, and these options um, and more about um, presenting um, is up on our GitHub Montreal Alexa playbook. Um, so we've provided a guide there um, and that includes sort of these details about presentation types but also how to schedule your talk um, and it also has some suggested topics there just to sort of help people get started as well. So again we're trying to make this really easy for, uh, for people to present um, and if you know if you have any suge suggestions for topics please provide a, a PR or just tweet us, uh, tweet at us um, at Montreal uh, Elixir on, um, and you know, suggest a, suggest a topic. Maybe it's something that you don't want to present, but something that you want to learn. And so that gives a little bit of a feedback cycle in terms of what the needs are. Uh, finally, part of it is that um, we want to build this great homegrown learning resource in Montreal as well. And so we're going to be recording these um, presentations. Uh, I'm not sort of mic'd up here just to look cool. Um, this, this, does, this does actually, it doesn't look cool, does it? Okay. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so, so this does actually serve a purpose. Um, so as you can see, we have a camera going on, we've got the sound going on um, for the 
um, for the slides for recording. We have a direct recording for the for the HDMI, um, so we get a great recording of your slides. No kind of weird color variations or anything like that going on. Um, and these are all going to be posted on YouTube. So we've got a Montreal Alexa YouTube channel um, set up there as well. Obviously, sometimes you don't want to be recorded, and that's totally fine. It's obviously an opt-in, um, and part of that um, onboarding process to, to do a presentation is that we ask people if they want to be recorded or not. So if you don't, it's no problem. Um, but that is, you know, that's something that we're, uh, we're going to be doing. So every presentation is going to be recorded if someone wants it um, there. Um, and finally, like in terms of presentations, uh, we're here to help. Um, we've, uh, we've produced this guide online um, and we want to make it like a, a safe place, a great place um, uh, to present. Um, and also we're here to help. So if you need help on a topic, um, if you want to do a dry run, um, if you don't know where to start, um, please contact us. Like we're, we're here to help and, and um, um, yeah, we're, we're, a, we're a tweet, email away. So please don't be shy. All right, so that's the end of part two. And I just wanted to take you a little bit of a quick online tour of uh, what we've got set up so far. So, so we've got um, four main properties um, online right now. Uh, that's Twitter, YouTube, GitHub, and uh, meetup.com. Uh, we have registered the montrealexa.ca um, domain. Um, that's just currently pointing to the meetup.com website. So in terms of Twitter, um, we're really just using that in terms of communicating updates across all of these platforms. Um, if you have some ideas in terms of how we can sort of utilize that uh, better, please let us know. Uh, as mentioned, we have the, the YouTube account. It's looking a little bare right now, but hopefully in a week we'll actually have something online. So, uh, so that is coming. Uh, and then in terms of the GitHub account, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, we have the playbook there. Uh, we've taken a little bit of a page out of the Montreal RB um, uh, meetup there. Um, and so, as I mentioned, we have the presenter's guide, um, but we also have a, sponsor a sponsorship guide. Um, so we want to make sure that we have like a clear benefit in terms of uh, sponsoring. So those benefits are outlined in that guide as well. Uh, and if you have uh, ideas for more content, obviously create a ticket, um, create a PR. Um, the other thing that you'll notice as well is that all the planning for the meetups is done as an issue. Um, so we're trying to sort of make this sort of clear and transparent as possible. And so if people want to get involved and say, oh, there's something that needs to be do there and you want to pick up, um, pick that up, uh, please, uh, please do so. Um, it's, uh, that's all there out in the open. Uh, and hopefully we kind of like we also want to build that resource as something that other meet meetups can leverage and maybe for complain. Maybe that's kind of a helpful thing for them. And then there's finally uh, meetup.com, which is kind of our main hub for uh, um, you know, organizing events. Uh, so a few stats to start off with. Uh, we have 57 members. I think we announced this about a month ago. So not bad, not too shabby. Uh, and we had 26 people uh, RSVP, um, and that was a, a, you know, a, a sort of a split between the going and the wait list. So we encourage people to wait list so we would get a feel for numbers because obviously we're gonna need a, um, a well, hopefully we're gonna need a bigger venue next month. Um, yeah. And so in terms of the meetup.com, Obviously, we're going to be announcing events on there, um, but part of that is that we're going to be posting the program in that, um, again, you know, we want to respect people's time, time um, but we also want to give set expectations. So if you want to come here for just one presentation, you know the time when that's going to start. Um, you know, we all have lives, maybe we don't want to be hanging out uh, talking about programming languages all night, um, but also you know when you can get the hell out of here. So, um, so we typically we're going to keep it for two hours. We'll keep those events at um, um, end at 8.30. Um, on meetup.com we also have an Alexa in production page, um, so if you are got something in production please post your name or your company's name on there. Um, so that's going to give us a little bit of a feel in terms of what's going on in the activity uh, in, um, in Montreal. And also we have uh, set up a jobs board there as well. So if you're looking for work in Alexa, uh, if you want to, if you're looking for an employee um, uh, for an Alexa position, um, you can post it there as well. And yeah, and so anything that gets posted there, we can sort of tweet out um, and other people can retweet that as well. So to finish that off, I have a few calls to action. 
Uh, please subscribe to the Twitter account to get some updates. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube account so you can see the videos. Um, and also, this is kind of a, um, this would be a really helpful thing. So in terms of meetup.com, you can have a customized introduction for each meetup group that you're on. I'm not quite worried about the other meetup groups right now, but for the um, for, uh, for you know, Montreal Elixir, it would be great if you actually filled out that introduction. And so that kind of gives us a feel in terms of what where people are at with Elixir, what they're looking forward to learn, maybe how you use um, using it, maybe some projects that, that um, um, some hobby projects that you've worked on. So just yeah, it would be kind of nice to to sort of share a little bit because it's looking a little, little blank right now. We've got a bunch. We've got 56 people on there, and I have no idea where people are at. So, so that would be really helpful. Um, and, and please check out the, the playbook, and if you have any um, suggestions there, um, that would be uh, that'd be really helpful. Uh, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs>